Hello, I am Akash. Now here, NP4 is 1680 and I have to find out N. Now how to solve it? Let's see. Let's see. What exactly is NP4? What exactly is NP4? Let me first simplify that. NP4 is nothing but N factorial by N minus 4 factorial. NPR is nothing but N factorial by N minus R factorial. Okay, NP4 is N factorial by N minus 4 factorial. Now, there is a property for n factorial. What is that? Is n factorial is nothing but n into n minus one factorial. N factor n factorial is put n doesn't have a factorial here. N factorial is n into n minus one factorial. Okay. Now to make it more clear, I'll write it like this. This is n into n minus one factorial. Now n minus one factorial we can write it as n minus one into n minus 2 factorial again n minus 2 factorial i can write it as n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial and n minus 3 factorial i can write it as n minus 3 into n minus 4 factorial now in my denominator i have n minus 4 factorial so i'm going to write n factorial as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into n minus 4 factorial so, uh, let me erase this yes it's in the way fine because like 10 factorial is nothing but 10 into 9 factorial or 10 into 9 into 8 factorial Hope it is clear. In case if you have any doubts, ask in the comments box. Okay. Uh, hope you at least know what a what a factorial is. Otherwise, it will be a little difficult to understand what I am saying. Now next. So n minus four factorial n minus four factorial cancel. So n into n minus one into n minus two into n minus three. Now this is a product of four consecutive integers. See, n is an integer. n minus one is the next integer. And I mean like integer one less than n. This is an integer two less than n. This is an integer three less than n. So there are consecutive integers, four consecutive integers of which n is the largest. n is the n obviously right. n is the largest. n minus one will be smaller to that. n minus two will be smaller to that. Artha main da n na na peda than di into n into n minus one into n minus two into n minus three. Ika mandu kalna. No. Chalo. Now what they gave is NP4 is 1680. So N into N my NP4 and T much in Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is actually 4. This is actually 4. This is NP4. Sorry, sometimes when I copy paste or things do do things like that, sometimes mistakes happen. Sorry for that. Now see. N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 into N minus 3 is 1680. So I have to write 1680. I have to write 1680 as product of four consecutive integers. Now, how to do that? I'll tell you a technique. See, keep factorizing it. Keep best is prime factorization, but I'll tell you. See, this I can write it as 168 into 10. Now, 168 is it going by 4? Check 168. Is it going by 4? In fact, it is actually going by 8, actually. 8 into 21. 168 will go by 8 into 21 into 10. Fine. Now again 21. How can I write 21? I can write it as 7 into 3. 7 into 3. So I am getting ultimately 8 into 7 into 3 into 10. If you will observe, I am getting 7, 8. I am getting 7 and 8. Now in this 3 into 10, 3 into 10 is how much? 3 into 10 is 30. 30, how can I write? 5 into 6. 30, I can write it as 5 into 6. So ultimately, I can write it as 8 into 7 into 5 into 6. Hope you got the logic. Now, this is a product of 4 consecutive integers 8, 7, 5, 6. So, n will be 8. That's it. Hope you got the logic how I did the, you know, how I wrote, keep, keep kept splitting it. Okay. I kept factorizing it. Fine. I tried to split it more and more. Hope you got it. If you feel this is tough, you can go for prime factorization in which you have 5 and Hope this was clear. If you could not get it, you can try prime factorize and rearrange a little here and there you will get the you will end up here. Logic is that we need we should get four consecutive integers. That's why I went like this. Here as soon I got as I got seven and eight. So now 30 I can write as five and six. That's what I used. Eight seven five six. Eight seven six five. Fine. Whatever. Thank you.